Okay, this is um, verse two of Silent Night, and I wanna start out by explaining a little bit about how we talk about people and different occupations or jobs in sign language. So a lot of times a job will be just a description of what the person does, and then the sign for person. So um, I'll give you a couple of examples. Like a person that takes photographs is a camera person. A janitor, is a clean person. A server is a serving person. So we have photographer, we have janitor, we have server. And so you use this indicator right here, it's called the agent indicator, that says it's a person doing that thing. So a couple of the signs in this verse are using that. So I wanted to explain, it's like a two part sign and this just means it's a person that does that. So the first one is shepherd. We're going to use the sign for sheep and then put the person indicator after it. So to do sheep, you just hold your arm, your non-dominant arm out and then use your, your dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, you'll use your right hand to cut the hair off the sheep. So you get your scissors and then turn them sort of sideways and slide them across your arm. This is sheep and it's showing somebody actually cutting the wool off of a sheep, okay? So sheep, and then to say shepherd, you add person to it. So a shepherd is a sheep person. And then later in this song, we're going to be using the word savior, and savior is just the person who saves. So this is the sign for save. You start with S hands, so you've got this S here. You have your, arm, your wrist like crossed and kind of locked together, and then you break them free and turn them around like this. So this is save, and then you add person, and that means the savior. So we'll be using that later in the song. Um, okay, so I just wanted to explain a little about people before we got started. So let's start at the beginning of the verse. Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight. So we'll start with silent, which is both hands side by side like this. Silent night. Holy night, and we do sheep person, so cut the, sh the shear the sheep, shepherds, quake. So this is the sign for fear, and it involves the face, so you do like a scared face, big eyes, your eyebrows go up, kind of make that action on your face as well. So all of the emotion signs are all gonna happen, happen right here. This is happy, this is scared, this is excited. So a lot of emotions happen right here in the center of like where, the, where your heart is. So fear starts with closed fists and then you open up your hands really fast like that. So we have shepherds, fear, when they look. And for look, it depends on what you're talking about. You might look at different places, but you start by pointing to the eyes and then show where the gaze is going. In this song, they're looking up because they see angels in the heavens. So you're gonna take the gaze up, also look up with your eyes, and then all of the signs that we do about the angels are gonna happen kind of up in this corner space up in front of us. So the shepherds are looking up, and what do they see? They see angels up there. So we're gonna do the sign for the angels and the heavens up in this space up here. So, shepherds quake at the sight, glory streams from heaven afar. So the sign for glory, one of my favorite signs, you take your, your middle fingers and touch them like this, and then you wiggle them, and then gradually come apart from each other. So glory is usually just kind of done here, in the middle, but since we're talking about glory coming from heaven, glory streams from heaven afar, we're gonna do it way up here in this corner that we just looked at. So we look up, and then that's where you start the glory sign. You put your two fingers together there, and then just let one of them trail down while you hold the other one up there. So it's showing the glory coming from heaven. Does that make sense? So glory streams from heaven afar, and so we'll do just two signs for that whole phrase. We'll do glory and then we'll do heaven. And heaven is like climbing up the ladder to the sky and then you open up and kind of 
look up while your your hands are opening up that space up there so heaven and look up okay so then the next part is heavenly hosts sing alleluia and we'll just do three signs for that heavenly hosts will be the sign for angels and that one is put your hands on your shoulders nice and flat and then you turn them around back up so you can see that angels so angels and then we're going to do sing which is like this so you take your non-dominant arm and kind of cradle it like this and then you um, do a conducting pattern with a flat hand so this is the sign for music kind of like a conductor in an orchestra maybe like that this is also the sign for poetry because to deaf people music and poetry are the same thing which I think is really interesting okay so we have angels sing and then hallelujah looks like a little celebration so you need to pop and then like this confetti swirl around so clap your hands together and then you close your fists except for your index fingers they're going to be hooked like this this is the letter x in sign language so clap and then make x's and swirl them out and up and up and up and you can do this as long as your song needs you to so we do heavenly hosts sing hallelujah. Kind of long, so we have lots of movement there. We can keep going and going as long as we need to. And that's almost the end of the song. So the very last part is Christ the Savior is born. And we'll just do Christ, Savior, and born. Those three signs. The sign for Christ is related to a family of signs that all show this royal sash going across, like Miss America wears or like a king or a queen. So we have um, K for king, we have Q for queen, and we have C for Christ. Okay, so that's the sign for Christ. C, going from your shoulder to your hip. Christ. And then I showed you Savior before, so you cross your wrists with fists that are S-shaped. Okay, so S is with the thumb here in front of the knuckles. So you have your S and then you break free. So start crossed this way, and then you twist your wrists around and open like that. That's the sign for save, and Jesus Christ is the person that saves, so savior is like that, so savior. And then there are two different signs for born. We're going to use the one that, um, that shows the baby arriving. So you kind of touch the belly, and then you just place the baby here in front of everyone. So this is a sign for birth and it's um, very similar to the sign for arrive. It just kind of starts here at the belly and so that makes it mean birth. So Christ, the Savior, is born. And then we do that again. Christ, the Savior, <laughs> sorry, start here is born. Okay, so that's all of the second verse of Silent Night with lots and lots and lots of explanation. Hopefully those explanations will help you remember it better and understand a little bit more about American Sign Language.